Barely 48 hours after arriving from Cape Verde, the former president will leave for Nigeria. This is why he applied for a special vote. IEC officials were on hand to assist him. Among them, IEC Commissioner Reverend Bongani Finkma. Mbeki was his jovial self. And you can be sure I want that. <laughs> After the formalities, he went to make his mark, and then some words of encouragement for South Africans. They're supposed to vote. I mean, this is all we, we, we were engaged in struggle in order to be able to, to determine our future. And it's an important intervention in terms of that future is to decide whom, whom we want to govern, our, to govern us. So uh, I'm very, I see there's a very long list of parties, and many of them I've never heard of, but still, there they are. But I think it's a, it's, it's a good demonstration of the interest that the, the country has in this matter of who shall govern. So I think all of us really should need to vote and, and take a decision about whoever we think is, is the right, right party that, 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 that should govern South Africa. On the international front, Mbeki challenged the world to support Nigeria as it desperately tries to secure the release of more than 200 schoolgirls kidnapped by militant group Boko Haram. I think it's important that for us, the rest of us, we, we don't run away from the Nigerians because they're in problems. I think we need to be with them when they have problems because I think together, together we've got to work to solve them. Meanwhile, U.S. President Barack Obama has broken his silence, promising to assist Nigeria. Well, stay